my official prediction, Jose Aldo and Pedro Munoz. Guys, I'm taking Aldo. I'm taking Aldo, and largely because I'm inspired by him. Jose Aldo, like numbers don't lie, and for me to tell you numbers on Jose Aldo would almost be impossible to do. I don't know how old he is. I mean, I remember when I met him, that people were telling me he was 24 years old, and I was like 32 at the time. People were telling me he was 24 years old, but two years later, people had said he hadn't lost in 11 years. So did that mean they started his record like 15? He started fighting at 15. I remember the night that Connor beat him. It was 11 years. Jose hadn't lost in 11 years. I'm going, well, he's got to be, he's got to be 30 then, but he's not, or wasn't. He's still a young guy. I respect his commitment to the sport. Again, let's let's just go back to, to when I met him. And when I met him, there was absolutely no conversation. I got put in a holding area, and the Brazilians hated me back then, and Jose gets put in the same area. So it's just he and I. So I tried to do the, you know, we're going to be standing there looking at each other until we get pulled out for this press conference. So I went over to say hello, and he smiled, and he was friendly, but there was absolutely no English, and we didn't have much of a back and forth, and that was the end of it. But he was also at 145 pounds, and way back then, he was talking about, this could be my last fight. You know how guys do that? When guys are on top, and then they try to dangle this in front of us like anyone's going to care if, if you leave the sport. But they all go through that phase. This could be my last fight. Yeah, there's a way to get people to beg him to come in. But he was working that gimmick back then. Okay, great. Fast forward, he, he runs into Connor. He loses. That made him so hungry. After he lost to Connor, I appreciated what he had done before that. I appreciated the skills. I was in the WEC. I mean, I watched the flying knees and guys falling down and getting knocked out. To watch the hunger that hit after he lost to Connor, and then later in life to drop from 145 to 135, he saw that as his greatest path back to a championship. Either way, he had to change his physiology, he had to change his lifestyle. The calories he consumes versus the workouts he does to burn the calories, how much he has to sleep, where he's going. I mean, he really made this new commitment to MMA. And he'd already done everything that you could do. That record's not going to be beaten. World champion of WEC and the UFC, 11 years undefeated, one of the biggest pay-per-views in history. Like, he's got numbers that aren't likely to be beaten. But he got hungry. He got hungry again. He drops down to 135. He looks pretty damn good. One of the first things that happens when a fighter slows down is just that. That's a literal statement. The fighter will slow down. And it's very obvious to us, the viewer. We see it almost two years before the fighter sees it. We see it at home. This is a shot fighter. He doesn't have it. But he takes about another two years. Three or four more fights. Okay. I'm not seeing it with Aldo. I don't see him one bit slower. At 135 pounds, I have seen him taking more shots, but I submit for you that's not because he's slower. That's because 135 is a little bit faster. The other side of that coin that in large part evens out is he's able to take more shots at 135. He can absorb them. Even though they're quicker to get there, they're not the same power. And I think that all those combinations are ever bit as good. The way he'll throw a two and he'll dig that three right to your liver and come with an outside leg kick, it's as good as any combination in MMA. And you're guaranteed that combination at least one time in every Jose Aldo fight. It's worth tuning in just to watch him falling to the right as he digs that liver shot and comes back with the kick. When you see Pedro Munoz, Pedro in many ways represents the new Jose Aldo. And these guys' body types are very different. But I don't think that Pedro is as fast as Jose, let alone meaningfully faster. I understand that he's longer. I understand he can stay outside. Pedro Munoz is tough as an old leather boot. I don't doubt that at all. But history says Pedro Munoz is going to beat Jose Aldo. History says the younger guy is going to beat the old guard. I'm just here to submit for you. I don't think that old dog is ready to let go of that bone yet. I'm seeing in many ways the opposite. I'm seeing a hungrier and more motivated Jose Aldo now than I used to see when he was the champion when I met him and he was 145 pounder going to press conferences talking about I'm looking for a way out of the sport. It's very relevant your mindset coming in. It's very relevant if you can back a guy down ahead of time. Jose Aldo has never been a master of that. He's never been a master of going to a press conference 
making sure the other guy understands full well what he's getting into and getting him scared before the fight happens. He's not a master, but he's also not a guy to wilt at a press conference. He's not a guy to read who the favorite is. He's not a guy to buy into the idea that Pedro Munoz is younger. He's not a guy that's going to look at it the way I just present and say, well, history says. Each fight's its own fight. He's going to get to the target. It's going to be a long night. He's got no problem going 15 minutes hard, right? When I talked about those 11 years that Jose Aldo was undefeated, nine of those years were in championship fights. They were five-round contests. And while not very many people went there, he was prepared to go there. So 15 minutes, it's a very light atmosphere. So all I suggest for you, Jose Aldo's approach is going to be meaningful. Jose in a co-main event, in a feature spot, on pay-per-view, sold out arena, old hat. Does that help him get a 10 versus a 9 with the must system? Should it go to the judge? I, I get it. There's a lot of fighting to be done here. I just think if you sold your stuff, I'm taking Jose Aldo. That's my pick. But I also would submit for you, if you sold your Jose Aldo stock, just because there was a couple of bumpy times, I think you bailed a little early. 